Hey guys, um, just me today. I um, wanted to take a couple minutes just to talk about um, an explosive acquisition that took place last week <clears throat> with Amazon and a company called Ring.com. Um, it, it's been a phenomenal outcome. I actually uh, met Jamie, uh, the founder of Ring.com um, at CES back in 2016. Um, and what was very clear to me um, after we exchanged exchange pleasantries, uh, because we do have mutual friends, um, was he's a very hyper-focused guy. Um, he was on, I think it was ABC Shark Tank back in 2013 for what was called uh, Doorbot, um, which is now known as Ring.com. And what, what, um, what happened on the show was he actually got an offer from the Sharks for 700000 for 10%, or he was seeking 700,000 for 10% of his company. Um, and he actually got an offer from Kevin O'Leary, uh, one of the sharks on the US Shark Tank, um, that kind of didn't gel with what he had wanted or was seeking. So uh, respectfully, uh, Jamie actually walked away and um, passed on taking up the offer. Fast forward to 2018, um, it could have been late January, might have been late January, I think it was last week, maybe early Feb, maybe the first or second of Feb, Amazon.com announced that they bought Ring, formerly Doorbot, for over $1 billion. Um, so if you just look at that, over five years, Jamie went from Shark Tank to Exit, um, for, or Shark Tank for $700,000, to Exit for, in ex the report is in excess of a billion dollars. And he did that in five years. Yes, he has US market. Yes, he has great talent around him. Yes, he came up with a great idea. But you know what? The one thing he did, he executed. He didn't talk about it, he did it. Uh, and really that's a fundamental difference between entrepreneur and entrepreneur. Um, someone that talks about it, but doesn't execute as famously as Mark Cuban coined it, is a entrepreneur, a wannabe an entrepreneur, versus someone that goes, hey, I've got this idea, and executes it, is the entrepreneur. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there today don't consider yourselves entrepreneurs, and that's fine, but I know a lot of you guys out there, because I get the emails, I get the tweets, I get the uh, LinkedIn's, I get introductions from people in our community to, to listen and help, and, I'm, and it's an absolute honor and a privilege to do so. But the, the fundamental thing that I wanna call out that Jamie did was he executed. And I just wanted to take this minute, rather than having everyone in the room, rather than having you know whoever, whoever else is on the vlog today or this week, I just wanted to be spend a couple minutes with you, just be real. It's all about the execution. Yes, he came up with a great idea. Yes, so many people out there that have reached me and beyond me have got great ideas, but it comes down to execution and it's just one foot in front of the other every single day. We heard from Kim Hewen from uh, We Teach Me last week on the vlog. I'll link it in the description below. He talks about goal setting. It doesn't have to be this big, hairy, audacious goal. Break it down into a daily activity and a daily you know, the days add up to the weeks and the weeks add up to the months and the months add up to the years. And between day one, and maybe not day one for Jamie, I don't want to paint an unrealistic picture for you, but 2013, he goes on a Shark Tank, 2018, he gets bought for over a billion dollars. That's hustle, that's respect to you, Jamie, but it's also, it's also just putting one foot in front of the other. So one of the biggest things that I want you to take out of this phenomenal, phenomenal achievement by Jamie and, and the team at Ring is the execution aspect. Um, and so you should think about what you're doing every day. Um, it's okay if you fail. We talked earlier in the month about failing forward. I'll also link that description in, uh, or the link that in the descriptions below. Failing forward is taking lessons from uh, situations where it may not have been executed to your perfection or to your expectation. And if you look at Ring uh, or Doorbot and Jamie on 2013, he went in, and I don't really know, and I'm not going to pretend I do know, but he went in there with an ask and didn't get what he was looking for. 
but he failed forward. Or maybe he didn't fail. Maybe he just passed. But he, he moved forward from that. It didn't stop him. Setbacks happen. People happen. Shit hits the fan every single day. But if you can just hold on to that one thing, day in, day out, promise you things will move for you. You can always reach me on Twitter. More regular vlogs tomorrow. We've got Josh here from This Week in Startups. And later on in the week, we've got some really cool people coming back onto the vlog to, just for an update. So that's it from me. Keep moving, guys.